Hey everyone, my okay. name is Theo and you are on XFounders channel. XFounders is a practice-oriented educational camp in which ambitious founders learn, share experience and help each other implement Web3 projects. More information about XFounders in the description. Our guest is Konstantin, CEO of Echo Game and Ilya Evgeny Mikhail from File Market. Today, together with guys, we will go deeper into the tokenomics and total uh, and token utility frameworks for Web3 startups. Nice to see you all, guys. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be here. Thank you so much for inviting us. Right to be here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's let's start from the uh, short uh, introduction from guys. Uh, Ilya, please and tell us a little bit about your projects. All right. So we are building File Market, and File Market is NFT Shopify, meaning that it's a no code NFT shop builder but with perpetual decentralized storage and privacy layer for NFTs. And that's uh, pretty much the main technical solution that we have been working on for the last uh, year. Uh, we call uh, we call them EFTs. Uh, we have modified the ERC721 standard and uh, we have called them encrypted file tokens uh, in short form EFTs. So uh, users are able to attach encrypted content to each NFT, meaning that uh, each NFT has some kind of a hidden data that can be unlocked only by the owner of the NFT. And uh, our, our main mission, our goal was to pretty much bring the real value, to add the real value to NFTs. We also say that normal NFTs, they are, of course, cool and fun and really nice for speculation, gambling, or maybe some kind of a community building. But we also say that normal NFTs are empty, and we were trying to fill them uh, with, with the real value. And we believe that our users got to decide which value it's going to be, because right now people are able to attach not only the like some kind of a content or data, they can also attach some kind of additional services by just providing the unique link in the form of QR code, for example. Yeah, thanks. So, sounds great. Sounds great. Yeah, Kostya. <laughs> Yeah, hello. Uh, my name is Konstantin, and uh, here I represent mostly projects that call tech again. So uh, we aiming to make a sustainable model, uh, mostly for game economies and uh, DeFi market as well. So we do different type of modeling in general, as answering the question, what if? What if there will be some kind of uh, users that, that would act in some way and another users that will act in another way and the system will look like that so we, uh, for example we have some primary market secondary market some uh, ways of inflation some ways of deflation and how this model in general might might be sustainable so yeah that's like a helicopter view <laughs> uh, and uh, in general, I work in several projects as well as business development and building projects uh, also in DeFi and in uh, games. But uh, today we just uh, will go a little bit more in one of frameworks for tokenomics. Yeah, great, great. Uh, okay, uh, let, let's start. Let's start, please. Uh, Kosta, you can share I'm, the screen or... Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I have something very also... I think interesting to add uh, okay. regarding like our vision in general, like and why we have chosen Filecoin as one of the most developed uh, data economies uh, that is evolving right now in the Web3 space. Uh, because um, if we take a look at the history of blockchain, we can see that the hype around 2016, 17, it was everything all about just a token. People were releasing the token and selling the token and like with some promises. And then we saw like this tremendous collapse of, of everything and then 2020 2021 we saw the big hype around um nft DeFi, and dao protocols so it actually people if we see if we take a look at it uh, from uh another side we can actually see that people were using tokens and their custom logics like in in the form of smart contracts and it wasn't really reliable or sustainable as well if so everything went down 
uh, as it ha normally happens with bubbles. And right now we are coming to this third stage of the evolution blockchain where we have a token, where we have smart contracts and where we have the data, data that can be controlled from smart contracts. And what is very important to understand is that in general, web is based, uh, worldwide web is based on hardware. Like it's, there is no internet possible without hardware. So if we are talking about the new decentralized web, we gotta we gotta take a look and, and give a lot of attention to the decentralized storage. And Filecoin, uh, Filecoin's creator Juan Bennett, he he is also the uh, CEO of Protocol Labs, and he wrote he literally wrote the thirty percent of the whole code of IPFS. And uh, and Filecoin by itself, it's actually a, 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 a fork of IPFS, but with tokens, with incentives layer, and with the market for storage providers. And that's why we're super excited to get on this uh, discussion today with you guys, because we believe that in this third stage of the evolution block of blockchain, there is a lot of real important utilities, not the fake imaginable ones, but the real ones that, that, that will make the decentralized web really possible and that will make the hardware and storage uh, providing uh, infrastructure uh, sustainable as well. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for your thoughts. That's why we're here. Yeah. <laughs> thanks. Okay, let's jump to the business. Yeah. Okay, so let um, I share my screen. Uh, as so, like uh, this is a uh, more or less general model uh, that's uh, not uh, taking all the details that it might be according uh, just on your type of the project just uh, to help the uh, products that are deciding what it might be useful for them to cover some core lines to uh, take an attention of uh, their economic model. So we just uh, be answering the question and uh, figuring out what's uh, uh, the main uh, keep uh, uh, stakeholders uh, what is a uh, token utility in your case and etc and i will be mostly just uh, like a facilitator uh asking you the questions and you will be collabing somehow and uh, figuring out uh what who is the main maybe it's already clear for you in, in some cases it's really not uh, uh we've been working with several teams that just can't even decide who is uh, more important for them and they starting to argue <laughs> in terms of no we need to, to first uh in charge this or not uh, we need to, to first uh, give st st stimulation to this part of uh, our ecosystem so it's uh, might be very interesting in my case uh, uh so like the So Sorry. first, just uh, please name, and then uh, we'll make their importance. Uh, yeah, uh, some problem with connection. Can you can you repeat the last sentences? Yeah. So first question is just uh, the stakeholders of your ecosystem, of your uh, token. Who is uh, in the top, and who is less important? Mm -hmm. I right. just so, uh, make uh, the copy yeah, just... and you can name uh, their uh, cards inside. Sure, sure. Just to clarify uh, that we have made a lot of thoughts re regarding our tokenomics uh, and the token utility, but we haven't finalized it. We haven't finally uh, made our decision. So I think it would be really, really great and useful actually to go through all these points and uh, even especially for us and uh we hope it's going to be an interesting piece of content that's going to come out here uh so uh michael uh, uh shall i go or maybe do you want no prob to, to... probably probably we want to ask first of all we are talking about current stage of our project uh about or we want to talk about later stages yeah, about so, uh, current stage. So now we're NFT Shopify, and of course, we're most interested probably on the first stage and this uh, clients who want to order 
power shops actually mm -hmm. and then and probably how, the most important yeah how to name how to name uh, this uh, card probably uh, shops buyers or something like this mm -hmm. or nft shop owners like could we or, or nft or, shop or or in... owners yeah yeah, or NFT shop buyers, they, they actually, yeah, the people who mm -hmm. want, yeah, who don't own them yet, but who want to buy them, yeah. So I think mm -hmm. buyers may be better. Yeah, sure. because our main strategy is to attract these people and then through them get to access to wider auditorium. Actually, mm -hmm. the guy, the people who want to buy NFT. Oh, sorry. Uh, so uh, this is like your top priority at the moment. Yeah, the the second second block probably it's uh, actually uh, final customers who wants to buy some content. Like yeah, it's mm -hmm. probably NFT buyers, final customers who wants to buy some piece of contents from from mm -hmm. our NFT shoppers, shop owners. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the third one. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Probably uh, our community. Community, yeah, community. Oh, oh. Token holders. We we can call them oh. token holders. I think. To token holders and NFT holders because. Mm -hmm. Especially mm -hmm. file bunnies holders. Uh. It's uh, different from the token NFT file uh, buckets. Yes, it's like, uh, or it's uh, in the same card. Well, it's 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 actually okay. Let me clarify on that point really quickly. So we have right mm -hmm. now our own inner marketing campaign and early adopters campaign going on. Mm -hmm. uh, so on the fifteenth of June, we're gonna have a file bunnies free mint. It's our own collection, our own EFT collection, actually. And mm -hmm. um, people are going to be able to participate uh, in it for free if they uh, just go through our task list and get the role in Discord and fill out the form and also mint something on, on, on file market. So, um, and in the future, the holders of file bunnies, they're going to be able to receive our airdrop, meaning mm -hmm. that uh, right now they are whitelist members starting from mm -hmm. 15th of june they will become eft holders well you can still call mm -hmm. them nft because eft it's the modification of nft but with attached okay. encrypted code. and then in the uh, future in year in next year they will become like uh, from being just the file binance holders they will turn into also token holders because we will have an airdrop only in the next year in the quarter one uh 2024 Mm -hmm. uh, just a few things uh, about working with this framework. It can be really very different. For example, we can uh, make some one copy on the actual stage, one on some quarter or some very important stage of your development or changing the products and some maybe next year or next part of this year. And you can uh, rely some another data in this layer, and then according to progress, compare: is it you really going in the in the way you're planning, or how it's different? Uh, how their importance actually now uh, supplemented to their main holders? Uh, how they act in your system according to your uh, thoughts and ideas, or in another way? So it's. Uh, just now uh, fix on the actual state, but just keep in mind that you can uh, make several copies to uh, make different views on the same system from time perspective. That's okay, exactly uh, our stage because priorities, they will change like according to the state. Yeah, 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 I understand it's all the time like this. <laughs> also developers uh, who use our SDK, I think. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And what about invest investors and uh, about the team? 
probably two yeah. last blocks and investors and teams b2b actually the first block yeah yeah B2B, it's uh, like nft shop owners buyers. yeah it's yeah actually the first bad. one yeah yeah no no no, no. i mean the b2b yeah it it means the it's nft different. shop buyers it's it's yeah, like the, 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 yeah. The, uh, that's why i put them on the same level it's just the same yeah yeah it's just the same mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, they, 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 we don't need two points, two different points. They, they are, mm -hmm. like, NFT shop owners and buyers, they are the B2B clients. So okay. we can just put it back down and then we can just, yeah, investors and, and the team. In the end, mm -hmm. very, in the very end, we have the team. Also, advisors, ambassadors, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, they are in the end. Uh, yep, advisors, of course. I mean, uh, yeah, advisors. Yeah, they're they're somewhere on the same level as 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 team, I guess. Mm -hmm. Let's not put them into the very end. Let's put the team in, in uh, as a last, uh, maybe or or yeah, or like this. It's even better. Just let's put them on the same same level, or like okay. this. Yeah, it's also. Uh, yeah, it's uh, just uh, some you type of focusing and uh, uh, consensus on, on, on team level that you all <laughs> agree that it's really like this. It's just uh, uh, like uh, for, for me, it's usually the key point of uh, this uh, thinking uh, ar around the models. Uh, so I forgot someone or oh, is it uh, the whole uh, line? I think that's it in general. Okay. So, yeah, uh, we'll just keep in mind that it's on the actual state and it might be different. But uh, uh, so the next steps, they need to, to, to cover all these main elements in terms of uh, their importance uh, for your system. Okay. Uh, so, speaking about the utility. Uh, so it's just like what events and conditions uh, allow users to get token and to spend token. So just uh, drop some uh, core line how they can use token in terms of uh, getting and uh, selling or using inside of the ecosystem. So let's uh, start from get. Probably add it up the first first option to our EFT so file by. So airdrops. And you need to be an NFT holder, yes? Oh what what are the conditions? You have to be an NFT holder. Okay, uh, what's next? Or we can we can just call them e EFT holder. So just to make sure. A file file bunny e EFT holder. Actually, better. Yes, I agree with Eugene. Uh, it's better to write file bunny. I, I'm gonna write how to to in the chat how to properly like file like a file and bunny like a bunny. Uh, yeah, uh, like bunny this. Holder. I know. <laughs> yep. Yep. But uh, written together. Yes. Yes. That's right. Written together. Mm -hmm. In one word. okay, yeah, need mm -hmm. uh, to be file bunny holder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so in that case, I uh, so sort of, uh file bunny folder it's on the way to buy or it's uh, some possibility to get it somehow if there are some conditions that connect one with each other we can uh, open them a little bit more deeply of course of course uh, right now we have the main net uh, campaign uh, live and uh -huh. uh, so if people accomplish the tasks they 
get into the whitelist. So in order to become a file bunny holder, you need to get whitelisted first. Uh -huh. So I just... Whitelist or buy. Mm -hmm. Two options. Oh, buy. Well, uh, let's let's rephrase it a little bit like this, like free mint or buy. But in order to get the free mint, you need to get into the whitelist. It can be the okay. like, next condition. Mm -hmm. uh, what else uh, about the token? Is it so, possible so, to so mine some DEX? Uh, there is a li liquidity or not? It uh, will be some next step. We, we, we can add another, another event and condition uh -huh. um, in order to get the free mint. Uh -huh. uh, they need to, to get into the whitelist. Uh -huh. Yes, we can call the, the event the free mint. Yeah, and just what VL, you can just write two 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 letters VL. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have got like set of conditions in this term. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if we need to talk about the decks, or the possible buying the decks from bakers, for example, or of possibility to get it for staking because we are uh, planning to provide staking. Mm -hmm. uh, so in general, we, yeah. we try to cover every possibilities that's making inflation or deflation just to get the whole picture. So if there is a possibility of some staking or some uh, selling through the decks or you need to liquidity, it's better somehow keep it in mind. I... So pretty much it's interesting, right? That uh, the fact that the token is being traded on the decks, it's actually one of the utilities, right? Because- Yes, yes, of course. If there is no yeah, such utilities, <laughs> the, the, uh, the, even you can get it, you can't sell it. It's uh, the, There is no double side liquid utility for, especially it's important for some game products and some uh, other uh, as well. I think if uh, uh, our users uh, be uh, really active and uh, mm -hmm. make make good content, maybe we can reward our users by our token. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's like uh, community in in initiatives, something like this. Uh, so you've got a pool on it, or it's like a plan to be in in the nearest future. So we will it's have the token, mm -hmm. token generation event will happen in the next year, like in one mm -hmm. year. Let's say in one year token generation event. It will mm -hmm. actually happen like somewhere end of quarter one, like maybe end of quarter two, 2024, mm -hmm. depending on the market situation. Mm -hmm. So by that time, um, people are going to be going to be interacting with our file bunnies mostly. So now they're going to be okay. able to free mint them or buy them. And then starting from uh, July, they're going to be able to also get the file bunny on, on, on the on the secondary market. Mm -hmm. And okay. then actually, they, they, they should also stake their file bunnies at the end of the year to be able to get eligible for the airdrop. And then as soon as they get the airdrop, we will launch the staking campaign, of course. But mm -hmm. our main goal, it's like there are three types of users who are getting like three type of uh yeah uh, of target audiences that are receiving airdrops the first one will get the airdrop and go sell it second mm -hmm. type uh, of airdrop receiver will go and and uh, partly sell it partly stake it and the other mm -hmm. guy this type they will take the whole um uh, the whole a uh, batch uh, that they received and they will also buy some more and they will stake everything. So pretty mm -hmm. much our main goal is to get as many uh, 
like real believers as possible because only the true believer uh, will then get some more tokens and also stake them. Mm -hmm. so, okay, yeah. and uh, starting from the first uh, stakeholders, uh, the true believers uh, that you are speaking about, in what uh, uh, category token are they? It's the third, it's the third uh, category. Uh -huh. Token and fee holders. Right so they will be yeah. on the first step on uh, next stage? Yeah, or, or, or no? Uh, right now, if we talk about this stage right now... Yeah, like, for now, for this the, stage. Well, well, it's interesting because I would say that we would we, 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 we will have two schemes running in parallel because right mm -hmm. now, until the 15th of June, like mm -hmm. our main focus is to launch file bunnies and to mm -hmm. pretty much just attract people who will believe in the project. And then starting mm -hmm. from the 15th of June, we will keep on... Uh, organizing all kind of activities for file bunny holders, but we will also mm -hmm. launch in parallel like another funnel of sales uh -huh. for uh, for our actual uh, actual main users, our main and main main promoters. Let's say that's going to be the NFT shop buyers or NFT shop holders. Mm -hmm. so in general, we actually have three funnels. We have a funnel for right now uh, for our early adopters just for the guys who are helping us to test everything out second funnel is going to be for the shop uh nft shop buyers and the third funnel is for the actual investors because we as early stage startup uh we we need to fundraise uh constantly almost uh like going from like one round like then starting to organize the second one and Starting from pre-seed, right now we are in the pre-seed stage, then going to the seed, then going to strategic and to round A, and then coming uh, to, to, the, to the actual token generation event, to, to the public event. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so in that case, I suppose uh, the key moment is like to uh, keep attention on file money, yes, because it's like uh, one of the uh, main element for you to grow to the next stage yes absolutely mm -hmm. that's uh, right now in the moment until the 15th of june that's the main focus so I, I guess it would really make sense for now for us just to talk about the actual early adopters uh, campaign so if we should go back to stakeholders uh part and mm -hmm. let's put the token nft holders to the top priority uh mm -hmm. yeah and uh, yeah, maybe also final final customers. We can also change them with NFT shop owners. That's because, yeah. I think we also need to remember about our future DAO uh, with mm -hmm. governance. Some governance, I think. What do you think about it? That's for sure. But uh, uh, yes, that's we will come. I think to this point uh, in the process of describing the token utility. By it's the way, about I would how actually, to get. I would actually, mm -hmm. I would actually put the DAO governors. You mean here? Yeah, yeah. Just quickly, something. Just quickly, sorry, I just wanted to finish the, the stakeholders. So right now, our number one priority token and fee holders. Then we have NFT mm -hmm. shop buyers, and the third one are actually investors. Mm-hmm. If we put them and and then final customers and then devs, yes. Okay. Yeah. Great that working process <laughs> <laughs> changing uh, some details. It's cool. Uh, okay, and uh, if uh, to back on talking utility and uh, event uh, that uh, allow users uh, to spend uh, their uh, money or tokens or nft yeah yeah nft in your case uh wh what uh, types of uh, events or conditions allow them to implement it uh so i think we should we should start like because we have started from 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 the wrong like way here in the token utility mm -hmm. section Let's start mm -hmm. from the closest event and then go step by step, like okay. later on. So let's put okay, the three yeah. mint and white on the first stage. Mm -hmm. yep. 
So, and before the airdrop, before the airdrop, and uh, let's make a space, another, and let's put another point. No, 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 just go, put it back. Put it back. Mm -hmm. We just need another event before the airdrop. Before the airdrop, mm, okay. two events. Actually, two events, I think, even. No, no, the, the file bunny holder and free means stays just after the whitelist. Yes. Okay. And yeah. then there's some new events. So after after they're gonna be able to free mint or buy, uh -huh. if they if they if they miss this point, if they miss this date, then the next opportunity for them is to buy from secondary market. Mm -hmm. So so the next event is gonna be secondary market launch. And uh, the condition is to do to, to just to have some fill file coins. Pay or pay fill, yeah. File coins written written together. Okay. And then by the end of the year they will be able to stake their file bunnies. It's going to be some kind of a, like airdrop preparation campaign. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stake file bunny. Uh, he'll be this is airdrop preparation stake. and condition stake fi file bunny. Okay. Yep. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so what about uh, Uh, as I yes. say, maybe it will be some new mechanics after airdrop. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, it's for example uh... re rewards for activity of sales, maybe of creating content. By the, way, by the way, if you take a look at the airdrop event, then the condition for the airdrop event is not a file bunny holder, but staked file bunny holder. Mm -hmm. Staked. Uh, no, no, the, the last one. No, no, the last one. Yeah, because because in order to get prepared, they need to stake. But in order to get the actual airdrop, they need to have. Yeah, they still need staking it. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And then after this, uh, so after this airdrop, yes, that's right. So after the airdrop, they will get the file market tokens, and uh, then they're gonna be able already to stake the file market tokens to get the APY. Mm -hmm. uh, so after the airdrop, they will, uh, so uh, it's uh, more, uh, to name it's like post airdrop or how, uh, what's the name of the event, how you call we, it? We can call it, we can call it file Taking market. Campaign. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Tokens, tokens staking campaign. Like, just to clarify uh -huh. that it's another type of staking. It's not the, uh, it's the staking of the ERC seven, ERC twenty tokens. Mm -hmm. And here, conditions. Yeah. To stake stake our tokens. <laughs> this is conditions. To own, own. To own our tokens, yeah, yeah, just to have tokens. Not only own, but uh, uh, stake on some smart contract. No, so in order, like it's like the event is the staking, but what is the condition to be able to participate in the staking? The condition to be able to participate in the staking is, yeah, to be the owner and to stake. <laughs> yeah, okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> you are right. Stake. Own and stake, yeah. Own. Uh, 
Okay, uh, friendly speaking, we a little bit to come on the like one of the next stage we, where, where we make like uh, uh, a <laughs> line of uh, conditions, but uh, in, in a timeline. But anyway, it's uh, uh, good that you made it like the whole structure and that you understand <laughs> how it will be uh, transforming from step to step. It's uh, like plus from your side because in many cases, team. The, don't uh, get the whole structure and on some step that it will be like <laughs> some emptiness and uh, they don't know how to transform from one step to another. Okay, and uh, from the side to spend, if if we like keep that in mind that you've got a loop, like an engagement loop, yeah, and some kind of progression loop that where the more you stay in a loop, the more prioritized you are in terms of uh, ecosystem, like uh, some kind of points, yeah? Uh, is it like the general idea to make uh, some kind of uh, uh, game development, uh, uh, gamification process out of it, or how? Could you please rephrase the, the question? So, uh, there is like like a conditions, yeah, to engage people in the loop, yeah, to, in a funnel, and there are like several ways of progression of this loop, like from one step to another. It is, uh, uh, and uh, the question is, uh, like, if to come to another step, what will be if uh, people come on some part of uh, this loop? So what's uh, facilities you get them to move out and what will be in their uh, with their stake for example i uh, make a free mint uh, get white listed but uh, don't uh, get upper if it will be some uh, possibilities to take uh, like uh, usage of the platform or in like in the first uh, step or no if oh i take a fine i'm a file bunny holder but I don't go to through means. Is it will be some uh, way to go yes, out I, of I the group? It. And uh -huh. yes, thank you, thank you. I I already want to, want to answer. So so the, uh, yeah, in the beginning we start with whitelist. So if you don't if you have whitelist, but you don't want to uh to 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 mint anything, you can sell your whitelist. Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing. Then if you are a file bunny. Uh, if you're if you're free if you have free minted or you have bought or, or you have paid for for a, like for your mint, then you can just uh, on the, starting from July you're gonna be able to sell it on the secondary market. Uh, mm -hmm. and then, uh, for example, if we will talk about staked file binary, uh, then it might be also able to use some kind of an OTC platform to sell your account, like sell your wallet with the staked bunny, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but it's, it doesn't seem to be reliable because if you just, if you buy it from someone, then he's still going to have access to this. Uh, and uh, at the very end, like when you get the tokens, uh, like now I think it's the most interesting part. Um, because our main goal is actually to distribute tokens to the people who will support us and who will do some job for us in the beginning and who will help us to test everything. Mm -hmm. So, and then at the very end, uh, when they get the token, uh, the file market token, they're going to be able to stake it. They're going to be able to sell it just on the DEX or on the sex. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and then, but if they don't want to sell it and don't want to stake it, they're going to be able to. We are we are still thinking about this, but uh, the main one of the main, uh, so they're going to be definitely able to to to. For example, if they launch their own shop, they're going to be able to pay the commissions maybe in in our own token, uh, and also we were thinking somehow to utilize our token. To use it as a storage. So uh, storage let's thing. just stop and drop yeah. some info and, and, and 
so I've heard like one of the elements that it might be on a little bit later stage. Uh, so NFT show buyers can use it uh, on. Uh, so for example, yeah, they have like a, a staked file, file bunny or just uh, the file bunny and they can use it to st start uh, their own shop, right or no? Yeah, yeah, to pay the commissions, like uh, uh -huh. to pay the commission. So like a mm -hmm. Binance model, so if you stake it, yes. you get less commission? Maybe. No, 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 we have a, a special, actually, when you want to uh, put something in your UFT, you need a uh, place, uh, hardware spaces to store it. So mm -hmm. you need to pay for it. And the model is to pay with our token, or if you stake it, you have a free space to store your data. I, I, yeah, yeah, I know. I was saying about both, actually, Michael. I was saying both. Maybe it it, it could be both. So this, yeah, it could be both. The, actually, yeah. first of all, it's pay for commissions uh, uh, when he make transaction uh, of buy or sell. Uh, mm -hmm. And then uh, paying for storage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, no, no. That 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 comes what? much later. Like here uh, in the okay. beginning, we don't have any token. Yeah, like, just... it, oh, yeah, so here, file bunny holder, he just sells, like. Whitelist holder can sell the whitelist. The file bunny holder can sell the file bunny. Mm -hmm. Like this. Okay. Uh, and here, when it came to the token, uh, what uh, possibilities uh, are for them, for users to use tokens inside of your ecosystem? It more and or less clear with to... NFT, and when it uh, came the token on the stage, uh, what uh, users will be allowed to? So that's what use. we were talking about: pay commissions or, or and storage. Ah, uh, so it's the... Uh, the same like here. Uh, no, no, no. It's not. It's here. It's not like this. But you cannot pay commission or file storage for this file bunny. You can only pay uh -huh. it with file mark token, like ERC twenty, ERC twenty token, and and the end. Uh, so it's like the token holder uh, can pay commissions and storage. Mm -hmm. And uh, do he need to stake or it's just m might be like holding on the wallet? Of course, it's yes, it's either staking or selling or paying commissions or paying for mm -hmm. the storage. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to stake uh, tokens uh, for paying or storage paying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's uh, just like uh, the general, uh, there are like just few mods that you can do with uh, some token, like it's you can hold in, uh, you can sell it, you can transform it in, in some other way, and uh, you can uh, make some inflation of it uh, using like staking and get more tokens, yeah? So, and just covering all these elements, how it might be, important on each uh, stage of your development and how its influence on your stakeholders it's like give you uh, a picture and why when and whom you need to uh, uh, be in, in initiate uh, uh, you need to reward with the tokens so is it clear so yes, just yes. figuring out what, what will be more important for you. Make them stake, but it might be uh, give less possibilities for you to uh, work with uh, this uh, free inflation, yeah? Or just uh, stay in the wallet, but it might be in other ways. It's just, uh, I, I can't say that there's no, it's one correct answer. <laughs> it's, it's not like this. It's just point to think over what it's more important on some stage for some uh, stakeholders that we have in this moment. Is it uh, help them to stay in your loop, stay in your ecosystem, or will not uh, help? I, and uh, it's, oh, it's too aggressive maybe <laughs> in some case. And uh, it's so, just about it. So there's always like we, like we, 
we have some kind of a target actions that we want our users to do, right? Uh -huh. We want our users to sell, to buy. We want our users to stake. We want our users yeah, to trade, as I said. Uh -huh. uh, that's why, like, in the beginning, we're going to be using token more, like, as an as incentive, like, uh -huh. mechanism to make, to, 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 to motivate them to make some actions, like, on our platform. And uh -huh. then later on, like, there are going to be some, like, other utilities, like, general utilities. For example, like, like, like Eugene said, it's going to be the governance in the DAO, uh -huh. and it's going to be... Like it might be also like one of the ideas that I also had, like that maybe like because we're gonna have some like we're gonna have in our DAO, we're gonna have some treasuries, some some pools. For example, the pools that gonna like where the money from the commissions will go, the tokens from the commissions, everything what we raise from commissions. Uh -huh. And from all from this pool, we're gonna be paying to the file coin, to the file coins storage providers. Uh -huh. So maybe our own token can be like your right to use the money from this pool to pay to storage providers. So huh? for example, for our users, this actual storage might be completely free, but they need to be the owners of our token and then they stake it and that gives them the right to use the commissions from the pool to pay for their storage, for their and EFTs that they're going to be creating. Oh, yeah, cool. And uh, if just to look on uh, these two boards, we stay them for a long period of time. Just I find out it's important to cover the like elements one by one. Uh, so how do you think by uh, your personal view? Does your uh, initiatives and uh, token utility uh, well fit with uh, stakeholders and their importance? Uh, just on the current stage is it uh well balanced or how you figure out is it is it like this or not well it's going to be the the work for the whole year to find out the proper balances to not mm -hmm. make the inflation high and so on in the beginning after the airdrop like not all the tokens that we plan to give away are going to be distributed on the airdrop. Some of them are going to be distributed through the staking campaign. So mm -hmm. pretty much like the airdrop plus the single st token staking, they're going to be a part of, of the distribution process in the beginning. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, we actually have like, we actually have the whole document where we have described like all the main uh, actions that we want our users to 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 do and uh i think it's it's just important like it's it's impossible to say right now like one year prior to the airdrop like which kind of a balance we will have but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we will definitely define it like closer to the token generation event together with all mm -hmm. our advisors and then vcs that are getting on board right now okay yeah, uh... now 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 we're trying just to more general picture, we try to define how much tokens we want to spend on airdrop, how much tokens we want to spend on next activities like ecosystem development and so on. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So okay, more, that's uh, a, guys, that's so, sorry, one more disclaimer. I, I need to go. I fortunately, have a very urgent call. So you are doing great. So thank you. Thank you for your time. We'll Thanks. see you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. You can thank you, Michael. Thank you for participating. Bye. Yeah, we just uh, like fast cover some few elements and uh, I suppose also we'll finish and it's uh, might be very long uh, job that you come from like several times like uh, on different stages uh, to be more uh, like uh, update up to date uh, uh, progress and uh, the data that you get in from the community in some stage. For example, you make some uh, preparation for uh, for the mint when there's already starts mint or some uh, start uh, buying on the second, uh, secondary market or the first uh, market, you get the data that allow you to understand, is it you, do you move in on a correct uh, uh 
way in in terms of your uh, vision or it's a little bit need to change it and you need to, to see what poss possibilities you have to uh, some uh, change your inflation rate some holders initiatives or some uh, spending is initiatives like uh, burning tokens or nft in some if it if it's need to be done in some stage you've uh, you've better be prepared that, that you have like uh, this uh, way to control it somehow so uh and if to speak about the mechanics okay so we a little bit cover it in terms of nft and i'm not sure that we need to go with for now because nft we already know who will get it's uh, terms of uh, free mean white list then bunny and etc so we just need to make cover it in terms of the line uh, but uh, if we don't go now like on the token it will be maybe change a lot so just uh, mm, Okay, uh, uh, maybe like a short view. So who gets uh, their uh, token? So first, it's like NFT holders, yes? And yeah, our early adopters. Body. Early adopters. Our okay. early adopters. Everyone who's going to do the, like, the, the tasks for us. Everyone who's going to be mm -hmm. helping us to test the platform to uh, everyone mm -hmm. will become our first users they will all get rewarded it will be transfer on their wallet or in, uh, or it will be just uh, hold and stakes and until some moment when it will be free what's con type of condition for them to get uh, some kind of uh, rewards Just to, to to complete the tasks, like we have different tasks, like we want them, first of all, we want them, like because we're early stage, we have deployed on the main net on the 4th of May. So the first mm -hmm. the main thing we want them to do right now is just to test, battle test our protocol. Mm -hmm. so they come to file market, they mean something, they follow us on the all the social networks, and then the, mm -hmm. they also they also need to get, like they also need to share some, information about themselves like uh with us uh to, yeah for our funnel of sales and yeah these three mm -hmm. main tasks get them the white list mm -hmm. uh so just uh yeah uh, it's like uh, you told about the third step uh, but uh, here is like uh if they get something, you know, it's uh, connected with their mail or with uh, if uh, whitelist, or it's connected with their wallet, or it's uh, just uh, to cover some uh, again stakeholders. For example, if we orient it on some top, uh, some cryptos, some uh, crypto friendly that don't like to use uh, mail, uh, some way of getting whitelist through the mail can be like stopping point for them. It's uh, just uh, to think over uh, how uh, the stakeholders and actions that I uh, uh, make them uh, to do to take initiatives in my uh, programs, stop them or not stop them or allow them easily to cover all the steps. So is uh, some movements uh, attached to what? To the valid, to the uh, mail, to some, uh, I don't know, to what type of connection it's uh, connect to the users with uh, progress that he get on the system. Yes, that's being active in their social networks and that's mm -hmm. on chain, on, on chain activity as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I suppose it's uh, enough for, for this element. Uh, value capture. What uh, allow you to earn uh, some value out of the system you described before? So what are the elements that allow you to capture the value? 
Uh, so yeah, we are getting commissions from all the sales and we are getting like from all the shops from each uh, customized launched shop uh, using file market. Uh, we mm -hmm. will be gathering some commissions and yeah, later on, uh, on the early stage, we will be distributing our own tokens from our own uh, pool, like incentives mm -hmm. pool, community incentives pool. But later on, when this incentives pool will be uh, will be empty, will become empty, we will redistribute the commission uh, mm -hmm. in the same way. In the same way, like Bitcoin works, for example. Yeah, like we will have, we are having this. Uh, Bitcoin mining right now with some additional Bitcoins distributed uh, for the each block. But later on, as soon as the whole total supply is going to be distributed, the mm -hmm. miners still will need to be get will still need to get reward. Will still need to be rewarded, and they going to be rewarded with commission. So we have the same story here, like just but talking mm -hmm. about our shops. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so commissions. Uh, uh... From sales, it's also it's like all the time connected with the previous blocks. Uh, for example, if uh, the value capture, how it uh, reflects to your stakeholders, is uh, you've uh, got some value capture mechanisms from each uh, of your major stakeholders that you put in the top. Sure, sure. Like so, yeah. The the sellers, like the sellers, they mm -hmm. if if they so so like the NFT shop holders, NFT shop owners, uh, they mm -hmm. gonna be paying us the commission. Mm -hmm. And so a... but they, yeah. So but they, but also if they hold our token, and if mm -hmm. they stake it then they going to be able to use uh some kind of like share from 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 the community pool to pay their own commissions mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay uh so how to write it down it's like value capture so it's like from one hand it's a uh, so uh here the key point value capture for you as a team as uh, the main uh, like uh, uh builders of the product yeah uh not not for the own uh, no not for the participants so it might be like in the second step what uh, it's more like about here uh like uh, uh stimulus uh, for buying yeah so it's like uh the commissions for them or uh, make some uh, ways to uh, get uh, low commissions or get some possibilities. It's stimul for them for buy token or NFT. Uh, but uh, the main uh, way for you to capture the value is like commissions, yes? From sales. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm not sure. I'm not so sure, guys. If it if it if it really makes sense now to to keep on filling out like the 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 whole the, like the, the whole uh, template because mm -hmm. it's like we we like we we are definitely super interested to finalize this uh, this model and to fill it in. Mm -hmm. But we need more time. Like it, it's not possible right now. Like let's not try to do it. Like it's so hard to just you know to finalize it on the on the go. Because mm -hmm. we also have different, we have also have different uh, tracks, right? Like for 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 different types of users, and mm -hmm. so as as I said before, we have three types of funnels of sales, mm -hmm. and I would I would say that we need three types of models like this for for, for each one, mm -hmm. uh, for for each type of of our user. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So because for example, if if we are talking. Because if we're talking about early adopters, let's be mm -hmm. honest, they don't give a shit about anything about the platform. They would just want to get the token and they want to sell it. That's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like they, 
some of them might become also our users and, and get into like into the deeper story but uh early adopters they 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 really don't the most most of them they really don't care they just want to get the token and sell it it's just pure greed motivation mm -hmm. okay yeah i suppose uh, uh the more product uh, is already built and the more details there are there is uh, the more time you need to cover all this uh, canvas model like in one line and it's uh, really not will be possible for us to uh, cover all the details because you already think about it and you've got uh, lots of info that need to be fulfilled uh, filled in uh, in the model but uh, yeah so i'll suppose i just take this one and this and uh, we'll finish for today okay as like as uh, this part yeah, it was a great practice for us, guys. Uh, Thank you so much. And and we really like the canvas, sure. so it would be really great if you provide us the canvas mm -hmm. to work on. Yeah, I, I can yeah, I can share it with, with the public. So we make it a little bit more detailed. If we work with uh, exact uh, some kind of team that we prepared, so we uh, make a, a structure, architecture, and make it more question in terms of exact product. But in uh, this case, I just want to open it like in a general line. So it be I can adopt it for different type of product, uh, like to cover the baseline. And I, I'll make it open. It's not some something uh, need to be hidden. <laughs> so uh, if we're speaking about commissions from sales, uh, so why do you think that it's a need and that it, there will be the sales that will there that will be some active trading so what are the key points for commissions to to be on uh, your product so just maybe one two points and we'll cover the last way So uh, we have actually chosen the model to become the uh, the NFT shop builder, then the NFT Shopify. Mm -hmm. uh, the actual reason for that was uh, that we want we don't want to to be like too bothered with like motivating like the end consumers by ourselves. We want the NFT mm -hmm. shop holders to motivate their buyers by themselves. We want mm -hmm. them to to uh to engage their own existing communities for example let's say there is uh some digital creator who has ten thousand uh followers on 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 instagram and and they like thousands of them are the real fans so this mm -hmm. real fans will become his first buyers of, of the stuff he will be selling uh we probably gonna also motivate them so like for to, active buyers are gonna get, get motivated with with our token as well so the people who are creating a lot of transactions, either selling or buying, they, they will get motivated because we need on-chain traction. We need as many transactions as possible, uh, the volumes as big as possible. That's why we're going to be sharing uh, the commissions that we're going to be gathering. We're going to be sharing mm -hmm. them with the with, community. Uh, but as I with said... A, we, with this NFT creators. So like you've got some middlemen that uh, will be... Uh, working with the community with a uh, final buyer and you've got uh, some elements for he for them to be uh active yeah because uh, they also can earn out of it yes so like so the general structure oh, yes yes of course yeah, yeah okay that's right. uh, so the last point <laughs> some key elements uh, that uh, will engage people to buy, hold, or sell uh, NFT or token. Yeah, the, the motivation is the same. If we're talking about early adopters, they want to profit. Mm -hmm. If we are talking about our future active users, they want some discounts. They want some rewards. 
-hmm. If you're talking about investors, they want a profitable exit. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, motivation to hold? Profit discounts, same. Mm -hmm. Okay. And benefits. We could we could call it benefits, right? Benefits or... ahead of in the ecosystem. Yeah, just benefits. Yeah, I mean profit, profit and discounts. They could mm -hmm. be both called benefits. Okay, and uh, what uh, may make them interest to sell? and not to go inside of your loop. Uh, Fair market. <laughs> <laughs> Some market conditions, yeah. Uh, but, so let, let it be bear market. Well, it's either their personal situation, if they need, for example, funds or whatever, uh, it's mm -hmm. lack of trust. Like if, if they don't believe in, in the project, if they don't see the big big potential of the project, they're going to be mm -hmm. selling, that, that's it. Yeah, so it's uh, just uh, like a brainstorming around this uh, will allow you to uh, some elements that you need to cover on some uh, stage according to your Again, stakeholders, you got into your loop that you have and according to your movement around this loop and uh, 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 getting in contact with your stakeholders. So it's uh, just all, all about uh, these uh, details and uh, how it will be connected in one holistic system. So I suppose uh, that's it uh, from my side. Uh, I drop this uh, model and you can a uh, little bit more uh, look at more deeply in in your time, in your way, in just not a hurry and, and, and etc. Uh, so from my side, I just uh, thankful for you, yeah. for your time, for your uh, work, for making me thinking in a different way on your products. It's uh, really very interesting. I suppose uh, uh, the more you get in details in different stage of uh, your development, uh, the more it will be clear for you to find the best way to uh, connect with your top uh, stakeholders and the ways how it's connect may be done. And uh, just uh, wish you a good luck on it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's really Great. useful. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Costa, can you, like, uh, uh, I don't know, do, do you have more time to talk? I mean, we can, like, maybe cover uh, some, yeah, the some like, parts. like some feedback and uh, questions from your side. So it might be very useful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and the second one is, uh, can can you, like, uh, explain in, in short words what, what we have right now? Yes, we cover just a part of the token utility canvas. What we know right now exactly, mm -hmm. it, it, it's helped to understand our audience, uh, like mm -hmm. this part that we already fill out. And then we, we can cover it with you together and we can like uh, the rest part really shortly mm -hmm. later. Okay. So uh, one of the uh, main part in, in the beginning is to understand your stakeholders. Mm -hmm. Who are the, your top priority at the moment? And what ways... Uh, you uh, engage them to be inside of your ecosystem. So if you understand that your uh, token NFT holders like is your top priority and uh, you on some kind of on mechanics or on token utility or on value capture, don't uh, somehow work with them that's something wrong with your system. So because you've got some priority and no ways to uh, engage it or to capture the value out of uh, uh, these uh, uh, top uh, stakeholders. So it's all about it. So first, I'll figure out who is your top uh, importance stakeholders. 
And second, what ways of your systems are engage these stakeholders to participate in your system? And what mechanics uh, allow them to be interested and uh, uh, to, partic- uh, to, to, to take part in your system? So to buy token, to hold it, not to sell it, and just it's all about it. So like the first view is like, Great, great. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for this. Okay, uh, I think, uh, yeah, we can say th- great thank you for for you guys, Ilya, Evgeny, uh, for helping us to fill this form. And uh, yeah, it's uh, great to uh, like learn more details about your start uh, startup and we wish you the, the best luck. Uh, next year will be really great. We hope, we hope looking for <laughs> bull markets and things like that. Yes, we yeah. have been working for many, <laughs> many years to come to this point, to be somewhere, to, to start, to be able to start building at the right moment with the yeah. right like attitude, with, with the right vision, and especially with the right people. That's, that's why I hope this time uh, File Market uh, will become a proper, really successful startup we've received a lot of positive feedback and I'm super proud of the team that we are building it together. Uh, Eugene is, is one of the most professional and talented uh, teammates that I have. And of course, our, our technical team and, uh, and, and amazing guys from our community and, and business department. So uh, we're, we, we are sure guys, uh, we're going to show a lot of uh, interesting activities and actions by the next year so make sure you get the white list for the file button, guys <laughs> okay okay thank you thank you so much yeah thank you for your time guys thank you okay. for your time yeah yeah it was, it was great i hope I, ho- I hope someday we can make a part two and cover the rest uh maybe with another project maybe with you if you have a time yes thank thank you so much sure yeah all thanks. right guys thank you so much and may Bye. the force be with you Okay. <laughs> Thanks. My as a force, but yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Bye bye.